everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Walanda. So as you can tell by the title, today I have a luxury haul. It's my birthday trip haul. Um, if you guys are not keeping up with me on Instagram, then you guys didn't know, but I have been going, uh, I've been traveling, basically. And it was specifically for my birthday. It was just for me, myself, and I. Solo trip. Listen, are the best, are truly the best. If you have experienced it, if you're scared to, listen, just try it once. You ain't gotta worry about nobody. You ain't gotta think about no agenda. Just do what you wanna do, when you wanna do, how you wanna do, spend what you wanna spend, eat what you wanna eat. Listen, go where you wanna go. It's, it's a vibe. So I knew this trip I was going to shop. I did some damage. I really try to refrain myself to do the most, but I purchased I get good four pieces while I was out. I was out for almost three weeks. I will tell you guys where I went and the story behind each pair and all of that. But if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. If you are liking videos like this, go ahead and like. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go by the places I went first. So the first spot I went on my um, list was Morocco. Morocco was more of like a work uh, trip for me because I went for a specific reason. So I needed a souvenir. <laughs> coming from Morocco. So the last day I was there, I was literally rushing to the airport. That's how late I was about to be because I was trying to look for a souvenir from Morocco. Um, I ended up going to their luxury little corner spot, whatever. Um, I went to Louis Vuitton first. Honestly, I don't at the moment want anything specific from Louis besides a capucine. I think is the only thing I would want from Louis. Um, at the moment, I don't see anything else that's worth me paying for. But for this bag, I have had an eye on it for a minute. Um, actually, before I got my Louis Mini on the go, I was thinking about getting this bag. But I just didn't. It wasn't really like, it was like, okay, you cute, but... I don't know if I want you yet type of vibe. So this is the piece. You guys probably already seen it on Instagram. Well, on my stories, not on my actual feed. Keep in mind, none of these items will have bags or boxes with them. They're only in their dust bags because I knew I was going to shop and I was not about to sit here and try to haul all full boxes back to the U.S. for what? And plus, I don't like the attention it gives when you are carrying a luxury bag in the airport. So I told them not to give me any boxes, and I just had everything in their dust bag. So this is the first piece that I got, and this is my Morocco um, souvenir. And this is literally, I got this the day before my birthday so my birthday is on the 22nd and i left morocco on the 21st of september so this could have been my birthday gift but it's honestly my morocco souvenir so this is really really cute i forgot what it's called i'm gonna start getting two of these from my bags to know to hold um only so it could spice it up a little bit but i will not be getting designer two of these if you guys want a video of things I won't buy designer, let me know down below because I have a list of things I will not buy designer. It's really disposable. I think inside is suede, which is another reason I'm like, eh. I think over time, suede does not, it does not uh, wear well. So yeah, I think it's suede. If it's not suede, it's some type of felt. Yeah, it's just one big base right here it definitely will hold anything that all my basics that I normally would wear when I go out um, it has a little car slot inside and also it does come with a pink strap detachable strap so you can um, wear it crossbody or over your shoulders I'm definitely a top handle girl so I'm going to be holding my bag like this yeah, it's just a very cute bag. I really, really like it. It's so feminine. I don't have any bags or accessories that are pink. So I think this will be a really, really good addition to my 
uh, collection. Another reason I was kind of on the fence when I went into LV in Morocco to pick it up or to actually purchase it is because I kind of didn't want another monogram bag. I already have two pouches. I have the 19, is it the 19? The 19 or the 15? I think I have the 19 and then I have the 26, which I really love so, so much. I wear, I use those the most when I'm traveling to put in my bags. And then what else I have? Oh, I do have a key pouch and I have a time-lapse sneaker that has the a monogram like pouch patch on the back. So I really didn't want a full bag that is this monogram canvas material it is what it is i went ahead and picked this up i'm i don't regret my purchase oh jesus i think this is gonna be a long video all right so coming out of morocco i decided to go to france and france is literally two hours two hours and 30 minutes flight from um, marrakesh to south of france and nice so i was like all right let me just go to france next so my hotel was in nice so i stayed there the entire time and i just drove, took Uber, or took a train to the different cities around Nice and South of France. So when I first got to Nice, I knew I wanted to get a piece in Nice. I didn't know exactly what it was. I went into LV again knowing <laughs> I didn't really want anything in LV. I went to, into Chanel to see if they had the Chanel bag I was looking for. They did not. So I was like, let me just go into Hermes and see what else they got. I honestly wanted to see if they were going to offer me a bag. Of course not. They didn't have any. So much so. So I went ahead and picked up my first Iran sandals. I was honestly quite surprised I got this color and not the neutral color that I know I normally gravitate towards. But honestly, I have a lot of neutral shoes. And plus, this color literally goes perfectly with my Saint Laurent second drill bag that I have. And if you guys are following me on Instagram, then you already have seen me style these shoes with that bag and it's looking like this. Everybody I know and they mama got some around sandals, but um honestly was not trying to get one unless I get my burden first, but it is what it is. But I was just in the mood. I was like, I'm in South of France. I'm shopping. Ugh, let me just buy it. So I did. So these are my souvenirs for these. Um, they're very, very cute. Um, love the color. I went a half a size up. So these are six and a half. Um, I wore this when I went to Monaco and they're really cute. So love them. Can't wait to wear them some more. Okay, so like I said, my hotel was in Nice the entire time, but I decided to go to Monaco. I honestly wanted to stay in Monaco, but do you know how expensive Monaco was? And this, the week I went, the prices was even worse because it was yacht week, boat week, or weekend. It was boat week when I was there, so the prices were just ridiculous. So my best bet was just to stay in Nice. And Nice to Monaco is literally a 25 30 minute uber drive so it wasn't bad at all and then you could take the train if you want which is going to make it way cheaper way cheaper so that's always uh, a best bet just know that ubers cannot pick you up in monaco just to let you know i learned that the hard way so you gotta take taxi to go back home so in Monaco, I really wanted to shop till I drop, to be honest. So I went ahead and walked into Christian Louboutin. I ended up purchasing something from there because I wanted it to be my Monaco souvenir, south of France, <laughs> shopping, indulging in luxury. So these are it. They're still so pretty, so classy. Like I love classy shoes like this. Um, my only problem is the heel height. Like, I love tall heels, even though I feel like my ankle is starting to <laughs> give up and be like, yo, you say, I think these are 100s, and I just like them higher. That's the only problem. They look really cute on my feet. It's just slow. I like that arch. I'm short. I like my legs to look elongated. Alright, so the last place I ended up going to in South of France was Cannes or 
in French, they say Cannes. <laughs> so in Cannes, Cannes was, of course, gorgeous. I was still on a hunt for my Chanel bag. I, in Monaco, they didn't have it. I ended up walking into the Chanel store in Cannes, and voila, they had both of the bags that I wanted. So the specific bag I have been eyeing for the longest for Chanel is the Chanel mini cocoa handle and the Chanel small cocoa handle. I just love the look of the cocoa handle. Y'all know I love me a structured bag. I love me like a square type-ish bag. So um, I've seen they have the mini. I analyzed it. It's actually way smaller than I thought it would be, but the small was a good size for me because it fit a lot more than the mini. Even though I mean, the mini is cute and I love mini bags, this mini Chanel mini was a little too mini, okay? So, that said, if you follow me on Instagram, you see my, the, the box, or no, not the box, but the bag that I was carrying. I got me my first Chanel bag, and like I was describing, it is a cocoa handle, and it is in the size small. What color did I get? Classy, classy black. Duh. Y'all know me. I love me my neutrals. I love me my simplicity my everyday go-to. So I did get me my first Chanel bag in South of France. I got it in Cannes and I am just, I'm like, is this her life? Who is she? Who is this girl? Who is she? <laughs> Last birthday, I got my first luxury bag, which was my black DNG. This birthday, I got my first Chanel bag. Are you serious? Are you serious? Small size. This is the champagne hardware caviar leather. Um, it's in the quilted one. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, love it. <laughs> it has burgundy on the inside. It comes with the detachable strap, which of course y'all know I'm not going to be using because I don't like straps. I like handheld. So this is my new addition to my collection. Um, yeah, I really, really absolutely love this bag so far. I haven't been able to go out with it or take pictures or anything. I know I'm going to get uses out of these bags. It's really not even just to show you guys. I actually use my items, my luxury stuff. I don't just put them on display. I use them like Every vacation I go to, I make sure I use all my bags when I'm here. Um, I don't use my luxury bags as much, like, especially, actually I do. My everyday bag is my DNG, the brown one. Use it all the time. So, I definitely have to pick up, and this was on purpose. Guys, listen, I knew I was going to France, so I specifically said I'm not buying any big luxury items until I go to France, I get my uh, tax refund and I have a story behind these luxury purchases that I'm getting. So I definitely am super glad and super, super grateful. God has given me the ability to do stuff like this and just enjoy a little bit of the luxe life. So the next stop that I ended up going after was Paris. I didn't end up buying anything for Paris because I was supposed to be in Paris way longer, actually, until, oof, actually, I'm still supposed to be in Paris right now, according to my schedule. I have to come back home early. Anyway, so that is all the items that I picked up from my birthday trip. Um, in Morocco and South of France. So if you guys like any of the pieces that I picked up, let me know down below. Let me know what gifts you remember that you purchased from your travels. You know, 2020 was a, a dump when it came to traveling. So now everywhere is primarily back open. Let me know where you want to go to get which piece or if you have been somewhere abroad before where did you go and what piece that you could finally remember and be like, yo, this was that, 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 boom. 
Let me know your stories down below. With that being said, I thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you for everybody who wished me a happy birthday. I really, really appreciate it. And with that being said, do not forget to follow this channel. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.